one of Rael's biggest hardships is overcoming her mistrust. So you see that in all of her relationships and even the decisions she makes and the way that she communicates with other people in the world. Officers die just as good as enlisted. Seems like you don't want to be here. She's quite reserved. She's quite angry. Your mom was the CEO on my mom's last tour. You're blaming my mom for that? Soldiers die all the time. That's the job. She felt she didn't really have anything to fight for at all. I mean, I plan to get deployed early, get blown to bits, and the story. She's experienced grief in its truest, rawest form. I think she's most fierce heartbreak, and in turn, that keeps her from being vulnerable with people and trusting people and letting people in. No matter what happens, I love you. I think truth is the best medicine. Scylla was killed in the storm. When she loses Scylla, it kind of sends her back to a dark place. She's not looking to the help of her friends anymore. She's trying to do things on her own and pulling away from the people that love and care about her. It's all those feelings of guilt and not saying what she wanted to say, not being able to, to say I love you because she was just so scared of confirming her feelings for Scylla. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Rayelle come to the gradual and, and reluctant acceptance that, you know what, maybe Scylla isn't who she thought she was. She said she loved me. She told you what you needed to hear. I'm sorry we ever met, so. And it's also a realization where she starts to put her unit over Scylla, so that feels momentous. What's up, shitbird? We'll see Abigail and Raelle kind of finding some sisterhood. You always gotta be the hero, Rumbella. There. I love you, shitbird. Rael has had contact with a sentient mushroom. I think Rael's really beginning to understand the gravity of her gift. And along with that, I think it's really giving her a sense of purpose. And she's beginning to take accountability for how intense this responsibility is. Someone once told me that I had to let the army make me strong. And she was right. Asilla hears Rael use her own words to calm the crowd. There's both a pain and a bit of hope, because if she uses Scylla's words, then Scylla might be, still be present in her heart. Well, what I'm trying to say is Tally's stronger for having gone through what she did with Garrett. And I'm stronger for having experienced Scylla. Scylla has left Rail in the dark, thinking that she's shipped off to this prison to die. Uh, and here they are, just a few feet apart. It's okay. You're safe now. Scylla plays a big role in shifting the girls out of their, their visions, and I think it's one step in earning the trust and forgiveness, not only of the group, but especially for, for Rael. The joy and the surprise when she runs back and brings her in to this wonderful kiss. It was literally scripted to, to kiss like we had never kissed before. I don't want to be apart from you anymore. Me either. Like, ever. As she grows, she starts to let people in. And the rings get a little bigger. The layers get a little deeper. And she finds companionship. And a friendship. And she finds love. And that gives her purpose to fight for. It's probably the first time in my life I ever felt like I had a future to dream about. Motherland's given me the last four years of my life. It's seen me through a lot of obstacles and uh, a lot of emotional growth, so it's hard to part with. I don't know how well I'd be doing if I didn't step into this career or this show. Before I ever fell into acting, I personally was pursuing a career in music solely. So it was really interesting to have those two meet. My dad, in real life, you know, he taught me guitar. He was the one who really supported me, pushed me in music, and I just wanted, I wanted to make Elliot proud. I wanted to make Motherland proud. I wanted to make Rael proud. And I wanted to make my, my personal dad proud because he taught me everything that I know. A lot of our audience members have, have given me my only sense of consistency. It gave me purpose. 
it's a really, really nice way to to close close something beautiful that we made. Selfishly, thank you. That's our tribute to you. Um, I'm sorry, I can't even speak right now. I, I just I love this show so much, and I love playing this character so much. I love you. Thank you so much for. <laughs>